Terry Smith has been very outspoken on his views on Unilever. The company still remains in the Fundsmith equity portfolio, despite his criticism of the business. So, Terry, what do you hope the new chief executive will do to improve the company? Yeah, I mean, I, I sort of yeah, would say my criticism isn't of the business. And that's probably a clue to it, because I the business is pretty good business, actually. I mean, we're talking about a business which historically has produced returns on capital in the high teens to low 20s and is now in the low uh, low teens, basically. Um, and you could measure growth for this business if you could only count to three. Uh, I mean, people get terribly excited. Oh, well, look at the last year at the growth. Yeah, it was all price led. But you're 100% right, which is not very healthy, right? And no volume growth. So I'm talking about genuine organic growth above 3%, as an you know, it's disappeared from this business. I hope the new chief executive will stop the process of paying, uh, you know, what Warren Buffett characterizes as gin rummy uh, management. You know, you've got your set of cards and you keep discarding one and picking up a new one. So, oh, let's get out of uh, spreads, which they have. Let's get out of tea, which they have. And let's try and buy the Glaxo uh, Smith Klein uh, over the counter healthcare product business. By the way, outside their core franchise uh, expertise. Right? No, stop it. I think the first thing you should do is make each of the business segments that you have. So basically food, uh, household uh, cleaning products, uh, well-being and beauty products, and ice cream. Why don't you make each of those, benchmark them against your competition and make them the best that you can make them in terms of their uh, organic sales growth, their, uh, their profitability and their returns on capital. Let's get it all working properly first. And then have a rethink about whether we want to make any changes. Make it the best of the unity what it is. If we, uh, you know, if we as a bunch of investors wanted to own the Glaxo Smith Klein um, healthcare uh, over the counter, healthcare, we can go buy the shares. We don't need you to buy them and pay, by the way, a massive premium to the market price. Right? We can buy them ourselves. We'd like you to take what we already know to be Unilever and make it the best that it can be within what it is. And, um, and take back other things I'd like them to do, stop coming up with plans uh, about uh, uh, that they, they give fancy names for about uh, their, their matrix or non-matrix management system and they're structuring their portfolio. Stop all of that. Stop blaming, blaming the previous CEOs for anything. You know, uh, that's one of the great things I think about very good companies is they have seamless changes of management in which they don't go around saying that the last guy did it all wrong. <laughs> yeah, those would be really good things, I think. For the, for, and not, I think if they do that, the business is not, the problem isn't with the business. 